lesson 82 i want to show you guys in this lesson 82 what happens if you go to higher time frame and you can see a clear pattern but it has not activated or it, it has not given you a confirmation you know for us if we have a double top we use wbb also if you have a double bottom still you use wbb so i want to show with card jpy how how would you go about it how would you go about a trade that you know for sure it has a pattern and that pattern has not activated. Which side are you supposed to be on? Are you supposed to be on a, um, are you supposed to be biased? Are you supposed to be waiting? For example, if, we go, if you open your card, card JPY on the monthly, it is a very clear pattern. Can you see this? It has a, it has a double top, very clear double top. And I've been waiting for this double top I've been waiting for this double top to do what? To give me a sell confirmation. And for it to give me a sell confirmation is very easy. And I'll show you how, because first I understand the strategy that I want to use. You know, the difference between a successful trader and a trader who is today, they get money, tomorrow they don't get money. The difference is that us who are, consistent consistent profitable trader we already have a strategy and a working strategy for me if i spot a double top i don't start thinking what to do i already know if i have a double top like this i need to apply wbb strategy and guys you already know wbb strategy has three entry candles the first is you wait for the red candle so last month, uh, the month of October, you got a red. You check if that red candle engulfed. It is clearly, we do not have an engulf. And then what you do, if it has not engulfed, you take your box and put around this box. So basically, a whole month, what are you waiting for? A whole month, you'll be waiting for the candle to come down and break that box so that you can get an entry. So we are hoping for a, a red candle to come down so that we can get an entry. And that's how we enter sale. The question I'm, I'm asking you guys is that when you're waiting for such a trade, how should you wait? Should you avoid this trade completely? Or should you look for sell on lower time frame? Or should you look for buys on lower time frame? The answer is you cannot sell this trade because the market has not confirmed on a higher time frame, which is monthly. But even if it has not confirmed, you are free to buy. And that's something that many people don't know. Cut JPY, you can buy. Why? Because the market is on an uptrend. Can you see? This market, the way it is, it can still give us a cup and handle. So buying, it is not a bad idea. But if you have a very good reason why you are buying. So it, in short, what I'm trying to tell you, the same double top that we are seeing, oh, the market can give me a sell and then I sell. In the, in the mind of the bank, they may be seeing an opportunity to buy. So they may be joking around, around this area, waiting for an opportunity to do what? To buy. So I don't like staying in one time frame. Once I realize that the pattern in hand for only way to sell it's monthly, I will focus now on buying for, the, for that whole month. So if I come to weekly, I'm looking for buy opportunity. And that's what you can see. So this is a red candle. I cannot start to look for sale. So this is where the candle has gone. You can see the whole of this week, the market has dropped with 121 pips. So we can look for buy opportunities around this area where the market is. And you can see on weekly, there's nothing much you're seeing. Let's try daily. Can you see guys, on the daily time frame, this is what we have. So we have a market that has already established a very strong momentum breaking that resistance, and then we have this falling candle. The today's candle is a very huge red candle. Now something is about to happen here. We have a support zone. This is a support zone. This is daily, guys. 
I've told you can't come in for sale. In fact, if you sell because of this very shen girl, you might be in trouble. Selling only you can sell if monthly confirms the double top. But we can look for buy. That's what I want you to understand. We only look for buy in such a market. So all along, we are not looking for sell. If we ever want to look for sell, monthly has to give us an opportunity to see the sale happening so that we can do what? We can sell. Now, if this candle closes like this today, it is remaining one hour to close. If it breaks this support, what do you think, guys, will happen at four hour? This is what will happen. The market has activated new zones. So let me first delete. Where the market is at four hour, it is at the new territory. It has already activated new zone. And as I was checking uh, card JPY, I understand I'm not trying to look for sell opportunity rather than buy opportunity. Because for me to be confident selling, that double top has to agree. So that's what we have on card JPY. And when I flip on the daily time frame, I do not have that double top, double bottom. I don't have that double bottom. So I want first to make sure it is aligned very well. So this is what I have like that. So if I go to the daily time frame, you can see for the daily time frame to activate this double bottom, this week has to come all the way to 109.17. And the fact that it has not reached that area, it means we do not have the double bottom. So the first thing I want you to check once you watch this video, I want you to flip on the daily time frame. Make sure you pay attention and instruction I always give you. Make sure the market has broken 109.55. So we want this market to have broken 109, like the candle is like that. So it has broken the support because if it fails to break the support, it can form a double bottom on daily and we don't want that. And then now we focus on four hour. So the reason why I'm telling you we are looking for buy opportunity, it is because on the monthly, the sell has not given out. And you know, we cannot stay like that, waiting for sell to be given out. We can now think of the other side. That's our half. So what are we applying here? We are applying what? We are applying CRB, current resistance break. CRB, current resistance break. That's what we are applying around there. So what I want you to understand is how resistance is formed. How do you think resistance is formed? A green candle followed by a red candle followed by a green, and then you put a line like here. We have green, like here. Green, red, red, then green, you put a resistance. So I want you to follow the current resistance. I want you to, to wait, be anticipating, have an anticipating mood. So this is your first trade. I want you to check it. If it happens, all the best. So by the time you're watching this video, I want you to comment how the trade is running. So if you watch this video in the TP and the half of the TP has been hit, just say half of the TP, the half has been hit. If the time you're watching this video, the neckline was hit, just say neckline was hit. If you watch this video and CRB has been broken, say CRB has broken or it completed, or it was a failed trade. Like you have to communicate, make sure you comment. I want to be reading your comments and I see you're engaging in this video. So we are waiting for CRB. Again, I have said, when you check on the, on the daily, we want this daily support to be broken. That's the first thing we'll be checking, to be broken. So that's the first thing to be checked. So that's what I want us to check. So this is CAD JPY, this is OPT, CAD JPY, because it's one pattern on one time frame. OPT on four. So that's 
OPT on four hours. So I would want us to make sure you add it to your watch list and let us encourage each other to enter this trade and to make money together. I hope you will add it to your watch list and all the best guys. Love you.